Hey guys, I'm the Sky Aspire, and welcome back to Luigi's Mansion. Last time, we just explored more of the third floor, just cleared out most of this area, and today, we might just be getting our last things finished up before being the game. We might just get our last things finished up before um, saving Mario. I almost said defeating Mario, yeah, that's definitely what we want to do after all this, with an amazing western poster behind us. Something I want to show off, listen to Luigi's humming for a second, once it comes back. Okay, so that's the speed, and now listen to it, once you do this. It actually goes faster, I never noticed that. I was just, I was just like fooling around by doing this and that actually happened, I was surprised. So yeah, apparently, apparently that happens. But yeah, with his iPhone in his hand, we're just gonna continue on through the third floor, man, I just... Bunch of different, bunch of different like little touches here and there that we've that I've pointed out through this game, right? Anyway, we're just gonna be going through here, and we're actually gonna be just um, I'm this might this guy isn't an optional ghost, is he? I'm pretty sure he isn't. But either way, let's go through here. I remember him being optional. Here we go. This guy is a bit special. The ceramic studio. So you need the ice element for this. So we'll do okay. I, yeah, I can't rid of you. Anyway, the whole, the whole, I always think that you need to go over to and press A. Walk over to the blue jar. Walk, let me repeat, walk over, not press A to. Walk over to the blue jar and press A with the mustache. Yeah, you. What do you think of, what do you think of my jar collection then? Pretty amazing, don't you say? Amazing, don't you say? Really, really well. We can't just let you look at him for forwards. Now, can we? No, I think not. If you like to view me jars, you best, to view me jars, you best challenge me first. Meet Jarvis. Yeah, that's seriously his 100% legit name. It's on then. Also, notice his shadow. You can actually see like the bottom. Like, so you can see his shadow, right? Which is also incredibly glitchy. You can see on the left side that shadow of a jar, incredibly glitchy. But you can see the bottom of Jarvis's body. You can see he's kind of shaped like a tooth. It's just so weird. Anyway, it's on. See how many of my jaws you can freeze. See how many of me you can freeze with that ice, boyo. You freeze seven of me, then you win. Right, right. But if you lose, mate, it's out the door with you. All right, oh, bring it on. I just remember they said mate, so I remember to just give him a stereotypical British accent. Okay, so he's just gonna pop out of jars, and you wanna ice him once he pops out. Blah. Bam. Also, I just love freaking Jarvis. Really, that's his name? Love Iron Man Jarvis. Love that Jarvis. Who also kind of has an accent. Does he have an accent? I'm pretty sure he has, like, a slight accent, if not a full-on accent. Oh yeah, no, yeah, he does have a British accent, so... Oh, bam. Game's over, mate. And the results are... He has to pop into a jar. You got seven of a boy, yo! I can't believe it, how could I lose? You made me face red for sure, mustache boy. Maybe you'd fall to getting stuffed into one of these here jars. Jarvis goes crazy, but his heart gets exposed right away. He'll throw a bunch of jars at you. What the heck is he doing? Dude, come over here, what the heck are you- Oh yeah, yeah, do the- yeah, what- Dude, he's going in circles like crazy- Oh god, he dropped the point. Oh shoot, this might be a little bit- Oh no, we just drained this all the bunch. If we can just not escape, that'd be great. Uh, and... Nice! We did it all in one fluid go. That was easy, that was awesome. I was actually getting kind of scared. But there's Jarvis for you, just with his British accent and everything. Just love it. And why can't I see stick? Okay, yes. Yeah, okay, it's working now. And with this gigantic green ch- Oh, okay, right, because yeah, we did actually get the key to the basement. But here we have a silver diamond if you catch Jarvis. Right, I forgot we actually get, did get the key to the basement earlier, so yeah, you don't need to be Jarvis. He's an actual old boss, I forgot about that. I like firing him though, he's always- I just found him really unique. I, just, I love this room. Anyway, let's just bash this here jar, not that one. Oh, okay, apparently it is that one. Oh. No, wait, no, wait, no. Ignore you for a second, I don't care about your town brain, we just got a ruby. All right, tambourine, let's go. Oh, frick, 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 frick. And we've... What the heck are you doing? Dude, come back here. He's just running into the jar. Oh, frick. Ah, uh, he just knocked into us. That sucked. All right, either way, let's just... Oh, boom, 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 boom. I, I, saw, I saw the um the flash for a second. I was like, no, that can't be right. We just saw the boo. And then it was like, oh, God, it's a bomb, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it's a ball. Oh. 
Boomerang! Okay, you need to die. You need to just die. I hate you with a very deep passion now. Also, you notice that all of these booze that we're fighting now are all have a butt, a butt ton of health. That's not even fair. All right, Boomerang, you can just die. We, I spent forever trying to figure out how to fight you. You are going to die today. What the heck? Oh, this is a dark hole. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, wait, so that's, where's the other boo? Is he in this room? They have to be on the third floor. There's not many rooms on the third floor, right? It's very big, but not that many rooms, being completely honest. Uh, as long as he doesn't escape through the right door, which I don't think he can. Should be fine. Okay, so destroy him in this room. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, frick, 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 frick. Dang it. And he's in the hallway, so really all we're doing right now is just luring him out of the hallway. Burp. Is Five Nights at Freddy's legitimately scary? I feel like it is from watching the game. Like, Slender scared me the first time I saw it. And yeah, I'm talking about the- I'm, I'm, yes, I am going somewhere with this. Uh, but Slender, like, it never- Bro. <laughs> it never really scared- it scared me the first time. But after that, I don't know, it didn't really scare me that much. Um, and then Amnesia, I- I'm gonna be completely honest, I haven't seen too much of the game, but from what I've seen, it doesn't scare me. That's probably why it doesn't scare me. Um, but Five Nights at Freddy's? Dude, I think that's actually a legitimately scary game. Games which, like, <sighs> I feel like the scarier thing is not about the jump scares, which is what the game focuses on. It could focus on, like, you know, building up an intense atmosphere instead of, like, literally throwing jump scares, which feels a little lazy to me. Like, okay. Building up a tense atmosphere to create a scary atmosphere is a good idea. That's also, That's a really nice way to um, create tension, create scare, which I really wholeheartedly approve of. Really, we're just, we're doing a really great job of second you up here, just gonna do that, that sucks. But the thing is, once you, um, if you, if you're going for jump scares, they can be scary, yeah, but Five Nights at Freddy's, it does them really well, and it's not really because of the jump scares themselves. I feel like it's really just more about you know that the jump scare is happening. It's just one, you don't know when, and two, you just know it's gonna happen. It's just when you should. It's just when you should just duck under your table and hide and take cover. Yeah, okay, yeah, you need to catch them in rooms with the lights on. That's what you need to do. Oh, 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 oh! Very nice. Hi. Oh my gosh. The entire creep step behind his friend. Strikes like lightning. Finally, actually read that quote, and we have forty-three boos. Nice. We're getting really close to the end. Shoot, I don't even know if we have seven rooms in the mansion left to left to explore because Oh my god, wait, shoot, we need we have seven boos left to collect. Okay, let's count six rooms. Let's see if we have six rooms because that boo that other boo is free. So that's one two three four Five six. okay, okay. Oh shoot. Does that actually mean that every single one of these last rooms has a boo? If not, if there's some miscounting in there, I'm gonna be kind of worried anyway, um Okay, so where are the rest of these third four rooms? Okay, so we're somewhere in here, somewhere in here. Um... Uh, heck? Wait, I can't even tell where it is. Oh. Oh, and this guy? No? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, now we just changed the location because he laughed. I'm gonna teleport, laugh. Oh my gosh, I can't even... Okay, the mace, the mace. Where are you? Okay, in the chest. Whoa. That was... I don't think... Can't read. Okay, we really didn't pay attention to you because of the freaking boomerang. But, um... The thing is, like, we... That was called the lightning just struck right when the boo came out. Anyway, Final Spray is like, it feels like the, it actually does build up the jump scares really well. And the thing is, it's not really like it's trying to. Well, okay, I guess, I guess like here and there every once in a while, but like the thing is, like it's more about the player and just what they know is coming. And if you're playing Five Nights at Freddy's Blind, then yeah, you're gonna get freaking terrified, but who plays Five Nights at Freddy's Blind? Let's be completely honest. Come on, come on. I'm just being quiet right here so I can get this. Oh, 4 HP, really? It'd be funny if I just killed them in the hallway. It's not gonna happen though. They're so powerful you can't even get 4 HP out of them in the hallway. Oh my god, I actually did almost. I almost did. Alright, literally, I just need to press the R button and then you're dead. Boom.
Pokemon, Pokemon. I'm being really weird. I'm just being quiet. But yeah, that, with that, that's it. It's six rooms, six. That's, you know, we're actually breezing through this. It's actually going really well. But anyway, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to. Okay. So you might remember this. Uh, that's not what I'm talking about. We're talking about. Go down to the second floor. This room, no doors. That door, that room down there, which has no doors connected to it. Yeah, let's explore that. Mm, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> oh my god, is this okay? This has always been one of my favorite rooms in this mansion, just because it has no doors. Um, well, no, okay, not necessarily. It does have a door, but it's been blocked off by something that you can never break. That door you can't ever go through. But now we're gonna break the cliffhanger. We're gonna. Sh I'm gonna show you guys what's on top of that. Um, gosh, I love this so much. This, this roof right here. Um, all right, let's go up here and down the hatch. Welcome to the sealed room. Oh boy, uh, I'm pretty sure you need fire for this because I think there might be ice ghosts, but yeah. So you might remember, remember the room, the secret room connected to the butler's room? look kind of like this well yeah this is basically like that only bigger good freaking luck i'm pretty sure you need the fire element uh let's see oh god okay that's a lot more than i thought would happen okay that's a lot oh, oh god too many ghosts i didn't think that would happen literally just open up one chest and they think, okay let's go and i did not expect that to happen we have gold ghost right here we'll deal with him we got ghost right here purple puncher he's got purple he's pink come on What do you, oh my gosh. Then again, there's like, I, f I feel like like when that happens, like I'm, a, I'm the only person who thinks looks picnic, everybody else in the world thinks he's purple. And it's like, really? Well, you're stupid. It's like, no, I just really don't think you think. That happens to me a lot more than you think. Just looking at a color and they're like, no, what's this? I feel like I just don't know my colors, which is, like, I'm not even kidding. I feel like I just like legitimately don't know my colors. Uh, what the heck? Is there still a gold ghost? Oh, no, no, there's a blue ghost. Oh, you. Okay, I just heard the explosion, so I was like, okay, it must have been the blue guy um, exploding the floor by bashing it. But no, you idiots. Hey, the room's cleared out. Okay, so I guess all of them were just in that one chest. Okay, well, that's that's interesting. No booze in here. No booze in here. What? Three, four. And that room up there, there's no booze. One, two. Three, four, five. Oh my gosh, and we, that's five blank rooms, it, oh shoot, there might be, okay, you know what, there might be two boosts in one of them, there can always be two boosts in one of them, oh, oh this next ghost, this next ghost, oh boy, this is gonna get awesome, this is another optional ghost, yeah, another optional ghost that we're dealing with right now, um, anyway, this is the, this is a blocked off door which you can never go through, which I love the idea of, which begs the question, how do we get out of here? Well, I'll show you in a second. First, let's just set up all the money in this. Really, a chest with like, what, 10 bucks in there in real life? Not even that. How much is the gold coin? Okay, that's like a dollar. I don't know. There are dollar coins. There are one dollar coins. They do exist, except this is literally a golden coin with a giant G on it. So, what the heck is that? Okay, this one bill is just going crazy. Come on, go in the vacuum. Not that hard. Okay, empty. Also, I really want to question the physics of how can you, like, walk behind a treasure chest and use your vacuum on the back of the treasure chest, or even the front. But back is just so much weirder, and it opens. Just like, okay. Is this the password? Sure, why not? <laughs> Alright, I think you might actually you might actually be able to see what we have to do. Here, this cloth. Yeah, you can connect the steps from there. <laughs> also, what the heck? Is this a cockroach ant? I don't even know. A cockroach ant, absolutely. One really shouldn't open this kind of thing without asking. Oh, what? Oh, I'm not talking about the chest. Really, Luigi? Alright, well, anyway, let's just do this. Examine the mirror and... Yes, that is actually legitimately your only way of escaping that room. Alright, well, since we've been keeping up a trend of 20-minute videos, let's just continue that trend. Let's go up to the second floor, and we'll go into those last two rooms that we haven't explored. I really were getting worried about the whole 50 boo thing, because... I keep on going through this. Because, I, come on, getting all 50 booze 
how can you beat the game with only 49 boos and feel accomplished? You don't. So, yeah, I want to get all 50 boos. I I'm just convinced that there's probably one room with two boos in it. That's just, you know. If not, then... Well, doesn't that have to be the case? No, not necessarily, actually. So, shoot, this is going to be a bit of a problem. Look at this just strolling through all these rooms that we had so just so much trouble navigating before because of all these ghosts. No, we lit these all up. Now it's all good. That was the room we were just in. All right. Through here, we have a key for this now. So this is a completely optional part. Oh, crap. This is completely optional, but I just love this. All right, we have this. Fire, Which you don't need. You don't need fire. You need water. There we go. There's no water. That's not fire. That's water. Welcome to English, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not good at it. Gold bar. Oh. Oh, oh, wait. You, you, wait, no, yeah. You need fire. You need fire. What am I doing? Blah. Oh, God. Is that okay? Okay, at the beginning of this game, I said that ghosts don't scare me. Now they scare me every single time they appear. And they're... Okay, these are probably the... They're, they're scarier than booze. The booze are, like, obviously, like, the coolest ghosts ever in video games. But, God, these guys are becoming scarier. Like, freaking. Okay, <clears throat> that's all. Oh, that's also. I forgot to mention this. Oh, God. It's like, oh, the water! <clears throat> God damn it. Okay. That's the other thing I forgot to mention about fighting and securities. The jump scares. I. Okay. The actual visuals don't actually scare me that much. What scares me is how loud they are. The entire game is so quiet, and that's another part of like the whole build-up thing about Bill. Oh, what do you about Bill Gates? <clears throat> about building up the whole um, the whole jump scare because of course you're gonna be having this small atmosphere, and then like all of a sudden it just grows so big as like this like no audio goes to, like a bunch of audio. But my God, they're so loud, and that's more of a complaint than anything else. To be being completely honest, I am Bolivia. I hate you. Okay. Probably a reference to down get well what the He didn't go in the roof, did he? Okay, good. Because for a second it looked like it went up. I was like, do I really need to go to the third floor? If so, that is completely stupid. I don't think they can do that though. Whoa, whoa, dude. <laughs> Again, it looked like he went through the roof, but nope. I was, oh, okay, I love this. This this next ghost that you there ever seen this next room. Just the epitome of a of a what am I trying to say? A rich British family. <clears throat> Why is my trophy not clogged up? 45 out of 50 booze, we're getting near the end. Okay, so let's get this blue water ghost, and we'll go in here. So, I might be have this sitting room, very posh, very elegant, very nice, very clean. Man, don't you hate it when you're in a room and it's all upside down? And then when there's a ghost girl sitting in there? Do not try to wake me. Go away! This is Sue P. Um, you might not get the reference, I'll tell you that in a second. First, let's just, um... Actually, no. Okay, so, also, I just love this idea of just the chandelier on the bottom. In real life, just... Okay, look up right now. Look up right now in your room. Nice chin. Okay, now seriously, look up in your room and, um, just... Imagine if that was a floor, and now look at, look at your ground. And imagine if that was your ceiling. And just imagine that. Like, you okay, if you have, like, a, like a... Not, like, flat flat ceiling if it's like a kind of angled and even if you have like like especially if you have like pillars and like chandeliers and stuff walking around with that must be awesome and then you're like looking up at all the tables it's cool they don't really demonstrate that in this because um because of all these like tables and chairs but there's only like one there's only one table and one chair very empty room but you know just imagine that in like a really like you know decently furnished room <laughs> anyway let's just talk to Sue P. I I I won't wake the bed I promise um, Supi actually is the uh, Japanese automatopoeia for sleeping. It's like Supi, that's actually the automatopoeia for sleeping in Japanese, I believe. But anyway, I won't wet the bed. What if we wet the bed for her? Yes, that's actually what you have to do. Wait until she goes to sleep. I like the. I don't know if she's rel related to Henry Norville and uh, Chauncey. Maybe not. <laughs> She's gonna launch the dolls at you, so yeah, I- What?! That was stupid. Okay, 
Okay, let's do the bills right now. I think. Oh my god, this is gonna go terribly. This is gonna be a terrible case. This is not gonna be gold. This is gonna be like bronze or something, because my gosh, I already. Fi this is like, quote unquote, my. This is what the game thinks is my third time trying to catch her. That is just awful. And plus, I might fail this again. God, these oh no! Okay, four times. God, this is a terrible go. This is a terrible run. I'm not getting gold on this. I think I got a silver on the Clockwork Ghost, but like, I don't know what I got on the Clockwork Ghost. Because, like, it took me two tries to get one of the Clockwork Ghosts, but I did perfectly on the other two. Anyway. That looked Whoa! What the heck happened there? The doll hit me as I started sucking rubber. Like, Again, you can make fireworks with Luigi. Sheesh, man. All right, well, we might end stuff right now. Just, of course, just walk out of the room and earthquake will happen. The world will collapse. Um, and then, of course, the chest will be on the floor. <laughs> and this chest, okay, get ready for more awesomeness. Another silver diamond. Oh my gosh, this is just awesome. Silver diamonds. Our fifth silver diamond. Very nice. We started area four with 40 million gold or something, but now... Oh, God! Now, freaking who knows how much we have. I mean, maybe a hundred million. Not even that. I don't even know. Two hundred million. It's not easy to get. You need to get like every piece of gold and like every gem. It's not easy. Come on. Go 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 go. Twenty six. Twenty eleven. Bam! The egg. The vacuum went like like off to the side. That was weird. I had a lot of weird glitches in Area 4, that was weird. I think the, I still think the weirdest one was that blue ghost glitch in the first one. Oh my god, that was so weird. Alright, well, let's just see what we have next on our map before we end this off. Um, I keep on pressing the wrong button. 12-3... What is that room? Oh, I think I know what that room is. Okay, and then down into the basement. We have two rooms left. Oh boy, these last two rooms. Guys, we're getting really close to the end. We're getting really close to the end, guys. This is it. Next time, we probably... I don't even know if we're going to be able to, but we might just capture the last ghost of the game. Hmm? What the heck is Luigi looking at? Are you, are you a moth? Does the light attract you? Because he's just staring at that chandelier. <laughs> anyway, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more on Luigi's Mansion and all of the things Nintendo. I'm the Sky Spire, and until then...